What's up, everybody? I am Legend, your favorite traveling musician, right here on YouTube. It is Track Out Tuesday, so you guys already know what that means. It's time for another beat making session, in studio session. But today is going to be kind of special. As you guys know, Kanye West has been in the news a lot lately, so I've been kind of like riding the coattails of that trending topic. <laughs> well, today's beat is going to be a Kanye West type beat, but with the stipulation that it is a collaboration with Sam Smith. So I wanna show you guys how I would go about creating a beat, a song, whatever you wanna say, that would be a marriage of Sam Smith style and Kanye West style in one. How can I make a, a beat that sounds like something that they would both collaborate on or would have created together? With that being said, we are gonna get into the video now. So first starting off, you guys know Kanye West. You know he's a very sample heavy artist. Starting this track off, I knew that I wanted to go with a sample track. So I went to one of the most sampleable artists, Bobby Vinton, I Love How You Love Me. This is the song that I'll be sampling today. I love the Boom! So, I took this into Machine, and I chopped it up into how I want it to sound. So the samples sound a little bit something like this. So you guys see that uh, I chopped up the samples with that little uh, chorus or whatever you want to call it. This is what I'm going to be working with today. Now the chorus is going to be featuring the sample and then the verses are going to be the instruments that I play myself, but they're inspired by obviously the Sam Smith style. This is where Sam Smith is going to be doing his singing. I came up with this piano melody that just loops and you can do whatever you want, like have your freedom to do the vocal uh, arrangements that you want to do, but it's something like this. So I used a, uh, a Rode instrument, but it's in contact, and then I layered it with this giant pop piano. So it's a, a Rode and a piano that are both layered on top of each other. It just kind of gives it more uh, dynamics, more fullness, more, it fills out the song more. Uh, it, it doesn't seem so empty. There's the main part of the verses. All I wanna do is add some drums on top of this and then a bass that kinda uh, comes in later on in the verses and then leads into the chorus. This is something that I like to do when I know that I'm going to have a verse that loops and it's just like one eight bars or whatever it is that's just doing the same thing over and over. I like to leave it a little bit empty in the beginning and then as it gets closer and closer to the chorus, I add more to kinda give it uh, a new switch up, a new change, a variant or variance to the, the early parts of the verse. And I bring in the bass, which sounds like this. So then we have to get to the drums. You know, me personally, when I'm making these instrumentals, I usually start with the melody first. I feel like it's easier for me to know how the drums are going to sound once I know what the melody is doing, what the instruments are doing, the piano or the strings or whatever it is I'm deciding to go with. So the beat is a three, four beat. So it's like one of them church. Back then they kind of had a different style that was trending at the time and everything had this similar type of beat like uh, that's just what was in back then. I basically had this very basic drum pattern that goes a little bit something like this. It kind of drives home that, that same rhythm of the piano, the same rhythm of the, the sample. The, but what I like about the drum sounds that I found in this kit is it has that little James Brown vocal. I think it is James Brown. I'm not sure. It's like a, like a little soul bounce that, that kind of puts a little bit of spice on top. Cause you know, when, when I'm making these beats, when I'm making these instrumentals, I like to always have some kind of like little spice, little extra flavor on top that makes the beat uh, special, not just like, uh, like I feel like every beat needs one little special spice, one little special touch to it that gives it its flavor. And I think that that little, uh, 
yeah it's just like it's cool to i don't i don't know how to explain it this is just me doing my musician talk so everything together the bass the drums the keys all sound like this And then when you get into the uh, the chorus itself, I found these three or four pattern uh, strumming um, loops that you can play out and it'll do basically I'm just following the chord progression. So everything is, you know, nice and uniform and, and it's all in the same time signature and everything sounds, you know, like it goes together. So when the guitar comes in, it sounds like this with everything else. And then, of course, I added the Kanye element to this, which is the sample itself, which is where the idea for the song even came from. I love how you love me tenderly. What I like to do with samples is if somebody is singing in the sample or saying something in the sample, I like to flip the sample to where it says what I want it to say, if it's possible. Um, so in the original song, he's like, uh, but darling, most of all, I love how you love me. But before, he said something about, I love the way you always treat me tenderly. So I flipped it and made it say, I love how you love me tenderly. So there's your verse, there's your chorus. Me personally, I could definitely, I feel like I could definitely hear Sam Smith on this song. I can definitely hear Kanye West on this song. So right now I'm going to show you guys how everything sounds all together. So this is How You Love Me, um, a Kanye West featuring Sam Smith type beat or Sam Smith featuring Kanye West type beat with a Bobby Vinton sample of I Love How You Love Me. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs>
yes pretty good but thank you guys for watching as always be legendary and i will see you next week unless something happens between now and next week to where i have to post a video because i have to get the views okay bye